So, there you are, parked in a truck stop. You've got your PC Miler Navigator out, and you're programming in your next stop so that you can get an idea of what lies ahead. However, after you program in your stop, all you get is air miles. Now, to have your PC Miler show you something that'll be uh, a little more useful while you are stopped and off the road network, you will need to use the Plan or Edit Trip feature. Now, you can find this feature by pressing Menu, and then Right Arrow, and then Plan or Edit Trip. I didn't tap the screen hard enough. Now, right here, I have a preloaded trip set up. Now, this one goes through the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Now, I want to see how this trip is going to go, and in order to do that, I must press the uh, Show Route button. I will need to confirm my basic uh, routing preferences for type and the uh, toll preference in here. I've got practical and allow. Now, after a little bit of calculation, I'm shown the route on a map. Now, this is a pretty decent overview. Uh, you can move the map around, and you can also zoom it in and out. This will let you fly over the whole route. Now, if you want more detail, it's time to use the preview function. We'll go through each one in order. So, press preview. Okay. Now, first we got the route demo. And that's just what it is. It's a pretend drive-through of the route that's animated for you. It's very handy when you want to get a sense of the timing between close turns, for example. You can change the driving view and other settings as you see fit, uh, even while the demo is going. And this is useful for customizing the device so that it looks and talks like you want it to without having to make those configuration changes while driving. Now, underneath this big old yellow demo button, uh, we do have your basic playback controls. Of course, I time it terribly so that the uh, clear turn comes up. Playback controls. Rewind uh, to the beginning, rewind, play, pause, fast forward, and get me out of here, which takes you out of the demo completely. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the turn maps next. Now, the main use here is for checking out those tricky interchanges way ahead of time. Like... This one for the Central Expressway. Now here you can see where we've advanced to a future turn and we see how we got to merge with the traffic. It looks a little bit messy with all those no hazmat signs and hash marks, but that's why you can zoom the map around and um, pan it as you see fits. So here we're going to go ahead and zoom in. Come on, there we go. And you'll see that even though my turn direction says I just have to go straight, there's still one merge and two merges before I'm actually part of the main flow of traffic again. That'll be a little bit tricky. Now, to get out of the turn map, you just press the X in the upper right corner. Finally, we've got the turn list. This one's really simple, so let's go ahead and bring it up. Now this is a short list, but this works just like the itinerary driving view. Green flag is where we start. And then uh, you read it like this. So I start in Oak Cliff, Texas. 3.1 miles later, I turn right onto Woodolph Rogers Freeway. 1.7 miles after that, I go straight onto the North Central Expressway. And then 2.3 miles after that, I end up at my destination in Highland Park. Again, to get out of the turn list, you just press X. Now, after you're done previewing, you can press the Go button to just start navigating if everything is exactly the way you want it. Or if it turns out that you need to edit uh, the way the trip is laid out, you can use the Edit button to slide things around or uh, even load another trip entirely. This has been a short video explaining the uh, preview functions in um, Plan or Edit Trip for a PC Miler Navigator. Hope you found it helpful.